Oh, hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of Gunpla TV. We are on episode number 285. I am your host, Todd, and I am once again joined by... Lindsay. Lindsay, welcome back. Are you ready to talk about some new Gundam? And yes. not just Gundam today, though. One Piece. One Piece, yeah. Because Todd went all out and he built every kit that we showed on the last show. No, I didn't. There was one. There was the Gundam Origin kit. Oh. You know, I, I, I wanted to get Oops. that one do, done, too, and I actually started it last night. But... You did. But I kind of just fell asleep when I was doing it. So. <laughs> okay, well, sorry. I was trying to, you know, close. show off. There was four kids um, last week. I was trying to, you know, make <sighs> you look good, but... I tried. Whatever. Anyways, so who do we have with us today? That is the Gundam Ultron from Build Divers. There is a special name to it, which I don't remember off the top of my head. Right Not now. to be confused with Voltron, that which they should also make kits for. Someday, perhaps. I think people would love that. Though that would be cool. It's not a Japanese uh, series. You know, oh, it's, it's on Netflix. Okay. Anyways, um, that would be really cool too, though. That would be indeed So we've cool. got this guy, the One Piece The One Piece ship. ship. And... Also, Cross Silhouette Zaku. Ooh. So, this is... I can immediately bit... tell he's taller than a That's typical SD. right. Here is the SD frame. So I have that Cross Silhouette frame. The dark gray Cross Silhouette frame just came in. So I went ahead and used that to build this guy. A little bit taller than he should be with extra movement. So, yeah. yeah. Do you want to take a closer look at them? Yep, let's do it. Okay. Alrighty, so we have a trio of kits to talk about today, and let's go ahead and start right off the bat with the Gundam that's rotating around down the front, although he's turning away from us. So that is the Gundam Gian Ultron. So I couldn't remember what else was to be mentioned about the Ultron, but yes, his Gion, this is from Gundam Build Diver, so as you can tell if you have been watching Wing Gundam before, he looks quite a bit different than the original Ultron Gundam that they had in Wing. And he's got these really, you notice right off the bat, everybody sees these right off the bat, is those really, really awesome looking shoulders. Aren't those cool? I mean, my first question is, do the mouths move? Actually, yes. Nice. They have little joints, so both sides that have little mouths that you can open up and close. Isn't that kind of cool? Wolf Ken and Tiger Ken. The armor on both shoulders can be removed and attached to the fist. And blah, 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 blah. So that's kind of cool. Looks really, really cool. You can see, although we have the, for this kit, there was like a bunch of like tiny little stickers that you have to apply, as you can see by the head of that yellow tiger. Yeah. All of those black marks and the eyes are individual little stickers that you have to put on very, very carefully so that they match up to the correct pattern. Although below the stickers, you can't see it now that the stickers are on, there are indent, uh, molded indented plastic marks where those stickers would go. So it's not too difficult to see where they need to go. But it's just a pain because you have to do, deal with a whole bunch of tiny, tiny little stickers, at least for the yellow thing. Also, this red mark here in the middle of the head there, that is also a sticker. And the eyes, of course, on that guy are a sticker. If you turn around to the back of this kit so we can see his shield there, the gray, all these gray parts in the middle, these are stickers as well. And these were actually more the most difficult stickers to put on because you have to conform to the patterns of right. the plastic and bend them over. Whoops, Whoops. earthquake. No. <laughs> But yeah, he's got a tiny little shield on the backpack. He's got some really cool looking wings. The frame for this kit is based off of the 2013 uh, Wing Gundam kit that came out. It's been five years ago now, but it's still a really great kit, that Wing Gundam frames, or that Wing Gundam frame. So you do end up with a couple of different spare parts. But one thing to notice right away is, as far as weapons go on this kit also, is you're looking, everything that comes with this kit, you're looking at it right here. So the weapons are basically these. The weapons are those fancy things that go on the, the shoulders and one kind of yeah you can notice that these the the jaws and claws whatnot these kind of open up and it's got a little bit of extra jointy here for some posing but one other cool thing to do let's see if you can hold on to it tight there as I pull this off pull this off there we go all right so this comes off this shoulder part comes off and then also if you could bring that guy back on over here in, oh, thank you for posing that there. So they, mm -hmm. give, they give you this little hand grip type thing. It actually, it looks like a little pistol if it you does. just want to keep it in there. I just put them in the hand so I wouldn't forget them. And you can plug it into the back of the shoulder piece where it would normally connect onto the shoulder. If you hadn't told me, I, I thought it would be a hand. And there you go. And you can use that as like a extra, what do they call it? The, An extension. Right? The, can be a patch? Like a little pistol grip or a little, what? Gosh, I don't even know what you would say. That crazy cat, tiger claw weapon. Well, I mean, th this is like a dragon, isn't it, at the end here? 
kind of. Oh, you know that is kind of dragon, dragon look, dragon lookish. The twin Jian Feng is what they call it here, actually. The sub arms which function as arm guards. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty pretty nifty kind of little trick. Also on his knees, he has the same type of open uh, claws that can be opened up. Whoops, not that way. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, well, not that way. There you go. Yeah, that's just that way. They kind of I'm open sorry. up just a little. I didn't just a, know. Just a tiny little bit. And then that other one at the bottom kind of just swings forward too. So that's kind of just a nifty, cool looking little feature. So, I see. I see. Yeah. Isn't it kind of nifty? It looks cool. I really hope that they come out with a standard Ultron version in HG now that we have this Build Divers version. But for that, we'll just have to wait and see. All right. So pretty cool kit. Highly recommend it. Let's move on to... I want to call it the last one standing. <laughs> the last one standing. <laughs> Although it's not really standing, it's just on a ship. So this is the One Piece Grand Ship Collection, Arc Maxim. So I have only watched up to episode like 250 or so on One Piece. So I've actually that's still pretty impressive. I've never seen, I've never gotten as far as this thing. But I thought this ship looks really cool. And as you mentioned last episode, this one isn't really a ship that floats in the water. This is more of like a, a flying ship, as can be seen by all of the propellers and helicopter type blades that this thing has going on over it. And these these do kind of rotate around if you want to spin them, although they don't, they don't really spin very nicely. This kit doesn't require nippers. You can you can twist all of the plastic pieces off without the use of nippers. I still use nippers, of course, but it's a really quick build. It snaps together nice and easily and you get that display base to go with it. You also get, let me pull these out here, you get these kind of like cloud looking features. So one thing that you can do with these these one piece ship kits, let me see if, oh, I, I was gonna say, let me see if I could do it without knocking anything off and I, of course I knock something off. As soon as you take it from me. Right, you can separate the ship to make it uh, in as, in ship model terms, we call this waterline. Water line. So now it's going to become like a waterline kit, although I do think we are going to have to take off this propeller. So we have like a waterline looking ship now, and then you're going to have like these, you have like these cloud type things. So it right. looks like. Right, so rather than the water, it looks like he's traversing the clouds. Right? He's traversing in the clouds, and they give you like a whole bunch of these little things actually. So you can play around and make them look as pretty nifty and cool as you want and hopefully with extra blades I'm not going to bother to fix that right now because gosh that's going to wrap it up for us as we need to get moving on now to the SD cross silhouette Gundam maybe we can have him stand in the middle of the clouds yeah, there you go. like he's gonna float away there we go alright so we had we looked at the other cross silhouette kits that came in last month. The Zaku now has finally came in, as well as the dark gray colored frame. Although this is the SD frame, not the cross right. silhouette frame, because he has the silo cross silhouette frame inside, so that way he can have some better posability. Not a whole lot of posability, but his arm can actually like flex, whereas on like the the uh, the regular SD kit there is no flexibility as far as the arm goes. But yeah. he can actually flex his arm, and he can flex his knee joint so the SD frame has no knee joint that can be flexed but that one does so that's really cool and it makes it look better I think it go. gives a little bit more extra height this guy really came packed with weapons I found too he's got that nice looking axe the oh I with forget the clear uh, with the clear part in. that's right what do we call that the heat hawk that has a special name to it I just couldn't remember it right off the top of my head the heat hawk has a clear yellow plastic piece which was kind of cool not just a sticker clear yellow plastic he also comes with his usual gun there, the Zaku machine gun and a Zaku bazooka. Now one thing to note about the gun that was the same as same case as the other RX-78 kit. For some reason this kit is molded mostly so that it can just be snapped off the plastic runners without needing nippers. Yeah. But the guns for some reason require nippers. Oh. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, they just borrowed these. I don't know if they used these from an older kit and they didn't want to redesign the gun because these are good enough or what but if you build this kit you will need nippers for the guns so but yeah he's got little like the little uh, weapon missile the yeah. triple triple missile pods on the legs too and those look really really cool i really like this guy he's yeah. kind of cool he's what got i noticed clear, right away is the yeah the clear eye right the clear eye with a little uh, like a foil sticker behind it to give it that extra kind of shine in the light there that looks pretty cool of course the nightingale is my favorite so far of the cross silhouette kits so i just wanted to throw out a plug for the nightingale 
But yeah, he's looking really cool. And the Nightingale would also use the dark gray cross silhouette frame that is included with this guy. Right, too, and so. so you can see the frame like here. And so it would just be really weird if you had the white, uh, right. the light gray one. Indeed, white one. it would. So if you're going to build the Zaku, if you're going to build the Nightingale, highly recommended you pick up that dark gray cross silhouette frame to go with it. All right. Okay, so I think that about does it for our quick review of all three of these items. Wonderful review, Todd. You and betcha. And for building three or three and a half. Three and a half, kind of. I mean, this thing. All at once for us. So, yeah, it's since not I, much. I had that uh, cross silhouette frame, I just like to put these together just because, I mean, the parts are all there. And I mean, it just kind of looks cool when he's just built with the frame anyway. So. Yep. So we've also got three new guests for you guys. Yeah, starting we with do. The new Gundam, the astray no name. No name. He's like a horse got, with no name. <laughs> who's got this big cape-looking attachment on his right shoulder there? That is pretty cool. Pretty cool. cool. The Gundam no name. Yeah, I guess you know. I was just thinking the horse with no name. If you were to steal that horse from the what was it, Master Gundam kit? I forget which kit comes with the horse. Yeah. Then you have the no name Gundam on a horse with no name. I don't know how many people will get that joke. <laughs> Is that just too old for some people? We've also got the new figure eye standard common rider build, yeah. the rabbit tank form. I would say this build is looking to be built. Are you gonna do it? No, well, maybe, maybe. Maybe. You gotta build the build. It looks very colorful. Looks very buildable. And Any then we've got um oh an isashiburi. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. Long time. No see. Long time no see. So, Kotobukiya kit. This right. is not a Frameworks Girl, however. This is Megami. the Megami device, Chaos and Pretty Magical Girl. That's and right. I so that again so you, I can say you it did right. the Megami device before. Yes. So we did, we have these. We had two of these new ones that came in recently, and yeah. I figured it's been a while since we had a Megami device kit on. So it's time to do one again. Although but you, I'm can. not gonna do it. Right. So, so who is? we'll have to think about this. We might have some other people being a hobby company. Of course, we might have some other people in the office that are maybe interested in building these things too. So. <laughs> maybe we can't make any promises of course but stay tuned next week and you can maybe find out if we yeah. did do indeed find someone to build it i hope that he or she right? enjoys this magical girl um style kit that's also pretty brutal and <laughs> right <laughs> badass um, i mean she looks so pretty and cute on the box but then you look at those then, weapons and yeah, like wow she's her, ready to her, kick her, some booche yeah her skirt's got like spikes on it she's got huge weapons and a mace and right? ball and chain anyways so that'll be a lot of fun quite interesting but that kid what's also fun is the comments they are in i've got some comments from you guys the first one comes from zero gravity who said Speaking of things coming back to be available for pre-order, I keep checking that RG Suzabi. That's right. Well, speaking of the RG Suzabi, do you know what's coming in next week on August 11th? The Ball Gundam? I wish. That was not <laughs> until like kidding. October, I think. November, October. But Anyways, no, it's the RG Suzabi. The RG Suzabi is coming in. So right now on the site, it is on order stop. Although yeah. after it comes into stock, maybe it'll become available. Yeah, it's we'll hard to say. How much stock it we depends get. on how much we end up receiving and what have you. But keep I mean, checking back. Yeah, keep checking back. I mean, if you go, if you look at all the other RG kits on our site, pretty much all of them are available for order now. It's just right in the very, very beginning that these kits are hard to, they a little bit hard to order because Bandai only has so many Yeah, to on go the first around. production so, run. But they keep making more, they keep making more, and yeah. eventually we'll get more, and then for pretty much years and years after this, it'll probably have in stock or available 
it'll be available to order. So yep. keep on checking back if you're unable to order now or if you're unable to order after it does come into stock. Okay, so the next one comes from Galio Zabi. That's a name that's familiar. <laughs> Sorry for you, Lindsay, but it's a problem that can be cured, isn't it? Hope your hands will recover. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Thank you. I've dealt with this most of my life, but uh, it's been pretty bad in the past year. Too much computer. Um, a computer and other things, too. Anyways. <laughs> too much fighting class. Oh, yes. You know, all that The karate kendo and... and kendo. <laughs> Um, I want to ask for advice. Okay. I don't like to paint because it would cost more than using the included stickers. Mm. But the stickers' color will be scratched away and reveal shiny metallic right. white after some time if I touch it regularly while posing. Okay. Can a top coat protect the stickers? Yes. Although really? it won't last forever. I mean, oh. the top coat also is, if you keep handling it, if you keep posing, eventually that top coat is also going to wear off. But... I think a top coat will help protect the stickers at least for a while until the top coat also gets scratched off. So, I mean, but it will help for a bit. I mean, and top coat, top coating these kits just makes them look more pretty and nice anyway. So, it's it's nice to top coat. So give it a try and see how it works out. I Let say. us know. <laughs> Let us know. Yep. Okay, so I think it's time for a credit giveaway, isn't oh boy. it? It's time for new random number. Generator giveaway 2,000 yen yeah. for anything you want at hlj.com. That's right, including coffee filters now. Yeah. Oh Fancy. my god. So we'll put that up soon, but we got in these ceramic coffee right. filters, really right? Fancy. And, and like, I don't like coffee, but mm. even I could taste the difference. Oh, like, really? Like we had normal coffee filters versus these ceramic ones and it filters them so well that mm. it actually tastes sweeter. Did you try it? I didn't oh, try it. I don't drink out. coffee also. So. <laughs> well, anyways, <laughs> check those out if you but, are a I coffee mean, fan. That's right. And the site, I think it said also maybe they could be used for wine or they yeah, could be anything. used to filter water. And they're, or maybe they're like filter usable paint. for the rest of your life, basically. Right? They'll never go bad. Yeah, that's another cool thing. But anyways, that's way off topic. Okay. Who won the 2,000, 2000 yen? 2,000 yen. Yes, getting back, to, getting back to the topic at hand. All right, so another high number this week. And this is comment number 62 from Hellgate Hex. Hellgate X and Hellgate Tech says, I prefer the the big bulky mobile suits like the Galbaldi Rebake over the small lanky Gundams. And if they have big awesome weapons like the hammer pliers are always a bonus, might be getting one of these next month even faster if I win the giveaway. Guess what? You just won. <laughs> that is right. You just won. Congratulations. So you can... Hurry up and order your Gabaldi pretty soon. So I'll be contacting you shortly, hopefully, on HobbyLink.tv. All right, so if you guys also would like to win 2,000 yen HobbyLink Japan store credit, all you need to do is go to HobbyLink.tv, find episode number 285, and post a comment. Or, you know, check the link in the YouTube description. We'll put a link to the blog post there. That usually helps as well. Okay. But anyway, so be I sure think. to comment, be sure to like the video and hit that bell right. so that you get notifications when we have the most recent video up and you don't miss any of these fabulous giveaways, right? including this one and the figure ones on yep, yep. Toy Tengoku. And, you know, we'll be happy to read your comments. Okay, so that sounds great. Mm -hmm. I think that about wraps it up yep. for us today. Are we forgetting anything? Well, yes, they can find us also <laughs> on Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. And links okay. to all of those are on hlj.com. Yes, so check indeed. Us out there. All right. Sounds great. And that uh, that officially does it yes. for us, I think. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Please remember, we are brought to you by HobbyLink Japan, hlj.com. So please remember to help support us, buy your kits from us. And we will see you again soon, hopefully, yes. unless we burn and melt away in this summer heat. It's 39 hot. degrees Celsius. 39 degrees Celsius. But that's also with 70% humidity. So yes. outside, it's actually like the field. Anyways, heat we're trying index to wrap is up. like 46 today. See you guys next week. <laughs>